I love the profound truth in John chapter 10, verse 10, about having a righteous mindset for Christ. It's a continuum. We can look at it on one end, a worldly mindset, on the other, a Christ-like mindset. When we have that Christ-like mindset, we're going to be able to achieve great things in our life, and we're going to be able to enjoy the ride every step of the way. So keep watching, and I'm going to talk about what it takes to have a Christ-like mindset and probably just as important, how to identify it when we are. Hi, my name is Sean Summerkamp, and this is Motivation Ear Christian Coaching. I post two videos a week, so please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can be reminded when I do. Please also consider becoming a member at MotivationEar.com. Your membership really supports this channel. Thank you. Okay, so I've already said it. John 10.10 is our reference continuum. The verse says that it's Jesus speaking. I think he's teaching just his disciples. I don't think it was the crowd here, but I could be wrong. But he says, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that my believers, my followers may have life and have it abundantly. So there's the continuum. On one end, we're being, you know, subject to the thief stealing our ambitions, killing our dreams, destroying our hopes, let's say. On the other end, we have Jesus who's helping us understand that we have a life that is really abundant. This is the key. Now, there is an abundance gospel out there, which I despise, to be honest with you, because it's such a warping of God's word. But the idea all throughout the scriptures is those who live for and love God. And of course, now in the New Testament, Christ, his son, will have an abundant life. That is talking about mindset. When we have the mindset of abundance, we're not going to give in to the negative influences of you know, our hopes being stolen and our ambitions being destroyed or whatever. We're going to always look at, okay, what is something I can learn from this situation? This is the power of John 10, 10. The reason why I use this so frequently in my own professional career, my own professional coaching, and yes, my career, because I'm a coach, is because when people come to me, they're wanting to find something big and new that they're reaching for to grab something to become an aspiration to meet or find. Many times it can be a job or it can be a huge promotion in the company or starting a business. As we're trying things out, what we'll see sometimes is our mindset will get terribly negative. That is the internal self-talk that we're saying we're not going to be able to make it. We're not going to accomplish what we want. That is the influence of the evil one. The evil one comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Now, in ultimately in our thinking, what we want to do is not be foolish and take big risks that are needless, but having a mindset of, you know what, there's an abundance of opportunity, or there's an abundance of job openings, there's abundance of um, funding for my new business, there's abundance of job positions that I'm going to be great for, whatever that is, if we maintain that idea of abundance, then suddenly everything that we're searching or every place that we're searching becomes that big field where Jesus says the kingdom of heaven is like a field and a man who found a pearl there went and sold everything to go and buy that field. When we're searching for something to attain or achieve something, to become something, to grasp it, it's a big open field. And when we have the mindset of Christ, we know the pearl is in that field or the treasure. It's there. It's in the field. We don't have to ever doubt whether or not we're going to make it or find it. No, it's inevitable because now we have the field. Amen. Thanks to Jesus. And it's now just up to us to keep searching, keep going, keep pushing, try new things. It will unfold itself because abundance awaits us. That's the mindset of Christ, abundance. When we focus on that, we're not going to get discouraged by the thief stealing, killing, and destroying. When we're starting to feel negative, discouraged, 
That means we are focused on the thief stealing, killing, and destroying. And that's our indication. Let's stop thinking about the. Let's remember, you know what? I've got a field here. The treasure is out there. I own the field. Let's go find it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for two new videos each week. Tell me in the comments below about your career situation and I'll make a video for you with a shout out. You can also become a member at motivationear.com. Your career is not just a way to make a living, it's a way to transform the world.